It's like some people love playing against Snake. It creates like such a dynamic game state. Like your win conditions are constantly uh, changing because every character can use grenades. Like it's this really interesting kind of environment. Or you play a character that just a Snake bodies and there's nothing you can do about it. It's yeah. like, I hate this. I don't think Snake has really any straight up losing matchups. Well, let's not go that far. If he didn't have <laughs> any losing matchups, he would be top one, which isn't true. I mean, like, there's no, I wouldn't say minus oh, three. They, there's no undoable. There's no minus three in this game. No. <laughs> oh, that's right. I wouldn't say a minus two. Like, he has no undoable matchups. Right. Obviously good. But, like, Snake loses to Mega Man. Like He, he like, loses to Mega Man? Yes. Ness what? can be really hard. Ness can be very difficult. Lucas can be very difficult. Yeah. Uh, I remember for a while, Inkling was a really tough one because Snake's up throw up air range is, like, 40%. Like, oh. <laughs> uh, but Snake has, like, struggles. But every matchup is doable. Like, and... I mean, Bobo's here going through the entire gauntlet of, of, uh, of weirdos that come out to try state locals, and Solo Snake doing through it all and look, looking to try and get not just grand finals, but also true finals with it if he has a chance here to keep John on ledge forever. Yeah. No, he's actually been playing very well against John on ledge. John, king of the ledge. But obviously, Snake with his frame traps, ledge traps, up tilts, he takes the first stock. He tried to stick him, then did turn around up to expecting John's panic option. So while the sticky didn't connect, John still had panic options. Very nice coverage there from Bobo. Yeah, and John rarely panics. <laughs> that double C4 in the same spot. Very clever. And without deep breathing, none of these throws are going to be close enough stocks anytime soon. Numbers choosing to play aggressive there once he was uh, once Bobo was off stage instead of getting deep breathing or, and doing exactly. the same thing. Sun salutation still gonna be able to close it out, but yeah, just trying to close out the stock instead of uh, actually installing anything. Ooh boy, here we go. 95. Yeah, now there now we is go. when you get the deep breathing. That's when dash attack is gonna close out stocks and like there a uh, forward tilt and then sun salutation doing 24 instant like little string and up to 43. Oh. Nice little Nikita there to actually get back on stage. Ooh. Now that's a trade. He's sticky to Oh, but the sticky didn't swap. The back air was well placed, and since the sticky was on numbers, uh, it was on Wii Fit's like thigh yeah. or like calf, I guess. So um, numbers didn't get close enough for the sticky to transfer. Very nice. That follow up with the up air, trying to extend off of it, but the air dodge away was just enough space for Bobo to, to get back to the center stage and to hold that center still. You can parry the grenade, but you can't parry that explosion. It's hard oh. to parry everything, Ooh, but it's not too hard to tech it. Let's see how Bobo can get down here, choosing to cipher short and then get to uh, come down with a grenade. Oh, trying to do that wolf special like he did. Going in deep. Oh, what, what? It was just oh, enough. No. <laughs> the Cypher took enough damage from the uh, Wii Fit Hula Hoops to blow up. Hula Hoops but Snake, too strong. But Snake never got off of the Cypher because the multi-hits aren't strong enough to knock Snake off of it. Yes. Smash Amazing. Ult, Super Smash Brothers, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the ultimate game. <laughs> right, I mean, Numbers is going to milk the most out of this lead as long as he can. Careful with the Nikita, but it knocked off thanks to the thanks to the header. Alright. Oh. John just letting you rip, but no grab. Voiding the grab twice in a row. Hitbox extension on that down air is so crazy. And the and the hitbox on down air oh itself. Oh my gosh, is huge. no tech. Ooh, yep, that up air will take it. Oh man, just getting one lead turned the entire thing on the tech. Like even game up to extreme 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 percents. And then John got a lead, and was able to was able to just honestly just play the dashback game, right? Like, oh, Bobo, you want to set up over there? That's fine. I'm gonna hang out on the other side of the stage. And yeah. at the end of the day, you've got to do something about it. And, oh, absolutely. And, and cooking grenades, cooking grenades and tossing is nice, but it's not enough. Exactly. Is Wee Fit screaming during her up air? Uh, no, no. I mean, and she's only screaming. Oh, she I is. Mean, she's like, ha! <laughs> 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 Well, look, if you're training that hard, like, your muscles just be, must not be on fire. It's like, oh, oh, my gosh. She's one of those gym rats. Yes. 
<laughs> yeah, ready to do some dead whiffs. <laughs> yeah, just, just drops the, the, the barbell. Oh, she, she would she would have set up that long every time. <laughs> she goes oh, we fits toxic. <laughs> we do, we've, uh, we've definitely seen that. Uh oh. I think John's getups have been very much oriented around like jump and Bobo not taking enough time to punish said jump. Like, or not being having enough time to punish said jump. Like Numbers has been getting off the ledge early a lot, which mm -hmm. has been really good against general snake ledge trapping. You know, you're not trying to wait for the cooked grenades and the mortar to come down. Okay. But the early mortar there as John gets off ledge again pretty early and gets caught by said mortar. It's been very, John has been very smart at actually forcing Bobo to recover high because he can actually catch him with those up airs and pressure him in a way that, uh, you know, recovering low wouldn't be able to. Right, got and up. Snake does struggle to recover Get on stage. Of, getting out of disadvantage is, uh, it's a try and a half here for Snake, but we're gonna make it back. I've been punches the grenade. I've been adoring uh, Bobo's use of jab, mm -hmm. like snake jab in general, like a little bit of a slept on move, as I will say, uh, but just his utility of it as like a little little bit of stagger pressure, a little bit of coverage, like just kind of having a hitbox out that's not too committal, but also like not nothing either. Oh yeah. It can be tricky on ledge. Just a little. Yeah, just a little. Uh, people, and I think I like, Extreme extreme percent. You can start like comboing jab one into things, but that's neither here nor there. Like we're actually forward tilt one can combo into things. That too. Yeah. <laughs> 224 by the way. Like Bobo is surviving. Heavy boy. It's a brawl time. Snake. Snake has had a hard <laughs> life. Just, just hanging around. Oh, the grenade. Uh oh. Oh, well, trying to call out that I roll. The same thing, Bobo. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's okay. Same wavelength. Yeah. It, like, roll in is so common there, but that's why John's a good player. He's not buffering roll in. He's just waiting, uh, trying to react to the positions he's in and trying to like be cognizant. Mm -hmm. Up till we'll finally take that. But that's, Bobo up one stop. That was pretty automated back air there, John. You saw the roll. You went for the back air out of shield, and Bobo one step ahead with that up tilt, uh, that up tilt to continue this lead and really extend it. Holy moly! Grenade into neutral air for some huge damage, and Ooh. it just keeps coming here, Swiss. John may be a little. Well, he may not have noticed, but the C4 is actually below the platform instead of on the platform. Okay. Bobo in a terrifying position here. Not able to recover easily. Oh, back air back on stage. Yep, right there, right in his face. He thought he was safe being it on the platform, but nope. And now it is on the platform. All right, John taking some hefty damage. It's cooking Ooh. long enough. A good spot dodge there from Bobo. Just backing up into, into John, giving him the shield that he wants. And then spot dodge into up tilt. Setting up for game number three of Grand Finals. Here. I don't know where he would take him. Bobo is juking me so hard. Bro, he's moving. Like, yeah. like, he's trying to decide where to ban. Brother, <laughs> where are you? <laughs> Honestly, Bobo ban, ban Kalos. John talks about it all the time. He loves Kalos. Kalos is great. Ban, honestly, ban Town and City. Leave Kalos. Really? I hate Town and City. <laughs> I love Town and City. For this matchup? Oh, no, not for this match. In general, I think Town and City is uh, objectively worse than Kalos. <gasps> I, I disagree. I don't know why you would compare the two, uh, but they're both fire. Uh, okay. Discussions for later. That's I, right. I'm, again, I'm Ooh, thinking of like a <laughs> trash fire. I'm thinking of <laughs> Jersey rule sets where it's like either Town or Kalos, not yeah. both. Two Jersey pills. Oh my God! <gasps> John, <gasps> double down there. Me too, Devin. <laughs> <laughs> Just right. this Dang. is again. These are the type of plays that. Every, it feels like nigh every character can do. Like forcing Snake to go low and then punishing him for it is everything. In every matchup, with every character, that's what you want. You want to get an early edge guard on Snake and make him feel the weight of his trading game and of his uh, over uh, overabundance of grenades and explosives that can just harm everybody all at once. So what you're saying is you have to be explosive off stage. Yeah. You've got to meet fire with fire, as the as the saying goes. Mortar fire with mortar fire. I don't know how to continue uh. sound analogy. <laughs> we'll figure it out at a later time, as most conversations seem to go here. 
seeming like John is trying to end this early or right now, so we can get back to said conversations. Watch out for the seat. Oh, sorry, we still talk about Sonic Adventure One, but not after hey, the yo. stock. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, the um, the soccer ball actually blocking this uh, the, the Nikita. No tech there from John as well. But you're in still in a really solid position. The Nair not landing. The back okay. air not getting the sweet spot. Ooh, soccer ball almost taking that stock. Forcing to recover high. No, unfortunately missing that dodge in. All right, John recovering 2%. Bobo adjusts his seat, trying to figure out the best way to get back into this game. Snake is a very... Has a lot of like cheeky plays that you can turn into stocks if you find the right position. Stuff like back or forward or something mm -hmm. like, like stuff where it's like this doesn't work, oh. but sometimes it does. That's right. You just have to be an elusive man of mystery. Sneak your way to victory. Oh my gosh! Stuff like just that. Like that. Or just pull a rocket like launch that. out of your phone. You know, there you it's go. like hey. Does John re uh, realize that he's tall enough in order to get hit by this uh, uh, forward smash on the platform? Because... Uh, oh, oh, no! The no-tech! After a stellar stock there, John just ended it early. Being like, tech check. That was the gas. That was the fire. That was like, I'm... We're rolling here. We're moving. We have got the way <laughs> forward. The, the literal IRL finger wag. Like, no, no, no. I almost <laughs> had you. I was like, I almost got you there. <laughs> I love that we can actually hear them talking now. Dude, that imagine. It wouldn't be that good. Going at a 45 degree angle. Yeah, but imagine, like, it would be fun. Yeah, but imagine. <laughs> but, imagine bro. but imagine, bro. But imagine, bro. But imagine. Imagine in me winning. It's like, that wouldn't be that good, but it would have been hype. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this was a hype set. This was a crazy game five, like game three in matchups where it can kind of play around set play, like Wii Fit and Snake kind of mm -hmm. are in different ways, but they're definitely set play characters. Um, game th final games can often be like where both players just cash out. It's like, here's all the information I gathered. Here's how to play around the setups you've been going for. I know how to change my setups and we're burning every single read and idea that we have got available. And it, you know, aside from one missed tech, like they Ooh. were definitely pulling out all the stops. Uh, so one thing I want to talk about there is that, you yeah. know that uh, Snake's forward smash is only active for one frame. Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. It's, a, it's huge. It's but huge, it's but it's one frame active. So we punished get up attack with a one frame move. Yeah. That's pretty the, good. The one frame of get up attack with the one frame active move. I can't believe we have a replay like, in a replay. Yeah, Yo, where's your tech, bro? Ruined it for yeah. me. <laughs> L. L. Oh. oh, wrong side, wrong side. Oh. L. <laughs> oh man. Got tech those. Like that's it, true. It's like when you're ever you're one of those characters like like Fox, Falco, uh, Joker to an extent, mm -hmm. Snake. Because like sometimes you gotta mix it up and you eventually gotta go low, and your opponent is gonna be like, now is my time to hit you. You yes. gotta tech those. <laughs> We're actually going on to grand finals here. Bobo and John Numbers. Oh, no, not Bobo and John Numbers. What? What? Yeah, sorry. It said right there. We're going back to the past. Samurai Jack style. Yeah. In order to see that set, but again. <laughs> no, that is, uh, that is John Numbers once again winning a Xeno, reasserting his crown on the top of the Xeno Zero venue. And, uh, I mean, what's there more to say than just some good numbers gameplay, right? Absolutely. Could we see that uh, actual uh, bracket, though? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Let's get the brackets here. Yeah, let's see who actually won. Nice, nice little peek. Look at all these games. John Numbers taking it over Bobo. Bobo in second. Nice uh, little healthy mix of two ones and two O's. Definitely good games all around. Mm -hmm. Shoutouts, mm -hmm. of course, to like Beats and JoJ um, making their way into top eight as well at seventh. Bond versus Carflow, the the set or the the fallout of the night. <laughs> oh yeah, the fall. <laughs> I mean, we didn't see the much. Of, we didn't see much of the set, but yeah. the aftermath was great. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> worth every second. Yeah. And of course, if you want to see more of action like this, then you got to make sure to come down to Zeno Weeklies every single Wednesday, streamed right here at twitchtv house of 3000 and the VODs are almost immediately va available on the YouTube page as well, I would say, on the Twitter right underneath the announcement for when the set is live, but Twitter isn't available. So <laughs> if you want to register make and get all the updates, make sure you register at StarterG slash Xeno here on 21 Logo Street and cannot stress enough, 
the guys behind the show, House of 3000, free house, but while House is still locked in Elon Musk's little jail, you have got to <laughs> subscribe on YouTube and on Twitch, and if you're in the Discord, to get all of the update, updates about what they're doing and how they're going about it. Oh, yes. And, of course, uh, do not forget to register for Defend the North. On July 14th through the 16th, we got Smash Ultimate as well as every single other fighting game under the sun, all PC. So if you're like, I don't like the PS4, I don't like the PS5, I don't like Xbox, you're in luck. Except for uh, Smash Ultimate, obviously, we're on the <laughs> Switch. That's okay, the Switch is small, but mighty. Yeah, we got uh, the buzz confirmed, tilde confirmed. Pretty sure, I, I think we've already locked in uh, Ling Ling and Mr. E as well. Uh, Zamba too. So it, it, it's getting tough. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a real fun tournament. And it's also the week before Gommel. So you want to go from, you want to do the, uh, the the major B&Bs, you know. Uh, it, it, this is all very northeast, right? Yeah. So right, honestly, it's a good time. Toronto's not that far from New York. It's like, really yeah. not. Be sure to have your passport ready, though. True. Oh, yeah. Got to get those passports going. And you got to get the registry for DTN happening soon as the venue fee does go up on May 12th. So keep that in mind as we head into the summer months and keep in mind all of the regionals and all of the locals that uh, are running concurrently throughout uh, the Smash scene as now more than ever across fighting games and esports as a whole, support your locals. Yep, we wouldn't be here without you guys. Okay. Uh, but that's going to be it. Any final thoughts here, Swiss? No, this was a fantastic event. Uh, signing right. off, Dom Swiss Rider. You can follow me here on Twitter at, at Hermes, at, at Arnie Hermes, and uh, Ubel, of course, yeah. at Ubel Soul. Right there. And uh, catch you next time.